Hi there, um, my name is John Gould and I'm an Associate Professor in the School of Physics at Trinity College Dublin and I am the future director of the very exciting new MSc in Quantum Science and Technology which is due to kick off um, taking students uh, and starting courses in September 2021. So actually I want to be quite informal in this video um, and its purpose is really to, to give you some sort of information um, about number one, the kind of motivation and vision uh, for creating such an MSc. Um, second of all, to tell you about some of the exciting personnel and partners that we have involved. Um, and then I'll give you a very kind of high level overview on the structure of the MSc. There'll be a lot more details to follow in subsequent communications. Um, and then I'm gonna just tell you a little bit if you're a potential um, candidate for, for, for such a one-year MSc, what would be the kind of benefits that I personally see in, in doing a course like that. So let me start a little bit about um, the motivation and vision for this. So <clears throat> to, give you, to fill you in on what kind of happened in Ireland, um, just prior to the pandemic, I would say in January 2020, Science Foundation Ireland um, held a brainstorming session in their offices and they invited a number of, uh, I would say, people working in the quantum domain to discuss what role um, that Ireland could possibly play in the, the sort of um, the high level of activity we see internationally in quantum science. Obviously, it's a non-traditional subject, but in Ireland, you have a smattering of, of talent ranging from sort of more established people to kind of early career junior researchers. And so there was a discussion and there was the establishment of the National, National Advisory um, Panel on Quantum Information Science or Quantum Science. Um, so present from Trinity at that meeting were myself, um, Stefano Sanvito, Professor Stefano Sanvito, who's the head of CRAN, and Professor Orfun Hess, who's a recently appointed chair in quantum nanophotonics in the School of Physics. And after the meeting, um, I sat down with Stefano and we both agreed that there is one very apparent gap um, in the landscape, and that's at the level of sort of really high quality graduate level training in, 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 in quantum. We were fortuitous that around the same time, the Higher Education Authority, the HEA, uh, were launching the pillar tree of the Human Capital Initiative, which allowed um, you know, the institutions in Ireland to um, apply for money to basically develop modules or full courses um, in, a, in a particularly novel way with the, you know, with, with, with significant influence and input from the private sector. So I guess I took on the, the difficult task of, of trying to sculpt together a proposal application for, for an MSc in quantum science here at the School of Physics. And that's sort of how the idea was born. So later in 2020, delayed slightly because of the pandemic, you know, the funding was put in place. And what that allowed to do, among other things, was to um, hire in the direction uh, of quantum science. So we've recently um, gone through a hiring process. So we've made offers to two candidates and I'm hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to update you soon when those are in place. But other than that, um, for the MSc, we have um, really excellent personnel here in the School of Physics, um, which would then, you know, sort of feed into the MSc course. So let me tell you about who they are. Well, you have um, Professor Stefano Sanvito, who's the head of CRAN and an ERC ORD, former ERC ORD. You have myself, Associate Professor in the School of Physics, an ERC Starting Grant ORD, and a Royal Society University Research Fellow. You have Alessandro Lunghi, who's a recent hire in the School of Physics at the assistant professor level. He's an ERC starting grant awardee working in quantum materials. You have Professor Orfun Hess, who's a recently appointed chair in quantum nanophotonics with a SFI um, research professorship. And you have um, Paul Easton, associate professor in the School of Physics, who's an expert on light matter interactions um, and uh, non-equilibrium physics. So together, I think we have a broad range of interests in the quantum domain. And uh, our idea is that we want to base this MSc around a sort of hybridization between sort of the traditionally, you know, strong area of research in Trinity, which is quantum material science, and then also bridge the gap 
for instance, with people like me and Paul Easton, who work on sort of open quantum systems, thermodynamics, etc., and then hopefully higher in the domain of quantum information science, which we are doing currently. Um, and this sort of is going to reflect in the structure that we're proposing. So it's a 90 ECTS, uh, one year taught MSc. Uh, 60 ECTS will be uh, for six modules of 10 ECTS each. I'm going to tell you about each of them uh, just in a minute. And then there's going to be this really exciting 30 ECTS project or internship uh, component which will take place after the modules are finished. So we are currently engaging with a number of players in the private sector ranging from large companies interested in quantum science to SMEs to startups trying to organize the possibility of internships or projects in their companies for students of our MSc and that's going really well and we'll have more details to follow. Depending on the student numbers, it may, be, it may not be possible to offer every student an internship in the private sector, but what we can guarantee is a really high quality project in one of the academic research groups that are involved here in Trinity or one of our collaborators abroad. So it's a blended course, so there's going to be a small element in year one of, of online uh, learning because we all agree that you know, after one year of online teaching that, you know, really it's essential that we do live uh, work and that's already, if it's possible, has been committed by the, by the School of Physics that we will get priority to go ahead with live sessions. So um, 10 ECTS of a prerequisite module uh, will go fully online. I'm currently developing that. It's an introduction to quantum information science with Trinity Online Services um, in the first term running parallel to that. There will be an introduction to quantum open systems and quantum sensing. And then there's going to be a very novel module uh, called engagement with quantum industry, which is running throughout the year. And the idea of this module will be to sort of engage with um, startups, companies, etc., who are going to come in and talk to, to, to the class about their research, very much like a, a business MSc, but now really with a focus on sort of scientific um, endeavors that they're in, and problems that they're facing in their companies and there will be a smattering of other topics there as well it's a kind of flexible novel module uh, as the year progresses there will be a module on quantum algorithms and quantum computation and we are hopefully having we're currently undergoing um, discussions with iCheck which is the center for Irish superconduct so supercomputing and the idea is that they will also be involved in the design of this module we are currently discussing with them uh, as it stands, there'll be a module on novel quantum materials, um, and there'll also be a module, of course, which is really important, discussing the physics of uh, standard quantum hardware architecture, so superconducting qubits, ion traps, etc. So those are the six core modules. We hope as the years progress, we'll um, sort of introduce new modules and possibly cross talk with other with other schools in in, in Trinity to see. If we can, for example, bring in some quantum computer science modules, etc. But for now, this is the plan ahead. So where would I see actually the benefits uh, of this course? If you were a prospective student, you know, what would I tell you, you could, that this course is good for, okay, once you come out with your qualification? Well, first and foremost, the importance or the emphasis should be on the intellectual curiosity of quantum physics. So quantum physics is one of the most fascinating subjects in all of science. It's absolutely central to every sort of modern theory that we have in physics and in its own right it's absolutely fantastic to be able to you know, study that for a year. On the other hand uh, you might say well okay that's very interesting but is it useful? Of course it is. We're going to have a very highly blended sort of approach where we're going to incorporate elements of classical programming, quantum programming etc. So you're going to get a range of, of transferable skills I should also say that we've arranged the modules so that there will be no written assessment other than, of course, the write-up of the project. There'll be a lot of sort of presentation style uh, assessment and continuous assessment on mini projects, etc. So a lot of transferable skills there. Second of all, you might be somebody who's interested in the quantum tech startup or quantum industry that's, that's really blossoming currently with venture capital flowing in. Um, at unprecedented levels in the field and we'll absolutely currently we're, we're, we're discussing with many of these companies um, we're getting their ideas we're asking them what are the type of things they would like to see our graduates 
um, have. So, so we're going to cater for that element of things. And finally, of course, you know, the nature of this MSC will make it a really, really good springboard if you want to go on for further studies like a PhD, whether that's in the private sector or in the standard sort of university scenario. So we're hoping that we'll attract not only physicists actually, but we'll, we, we, we could attract, you know, engineers, computer scientists, mathematicians. We'll make sure that in the early months of the MSc that we structure the, the early modules in such a way that they, they will be able to sort of, you know, cover any of the material that's needed for the subsequent modules.